Hey, good morning. This is Keith Patterson. I'm here at Cosmic Harvest Gallery. I want to show you around a little bit. And then I'm going to do a little painting in the driveway like I always do. Uh, let me see if I can flip this image around here. Uh, maybe not. So I'm just going to take you walking in. First, uh, let me show you the, our, our sign that we built and installed. Get out of the crazy light here. Uh, Cosmic Harvest Gallery, baby. All right. You are welcome. You are welcome to the gallery, says the gnome. The Cosmic Harvest Gnome, made from a cypress stump by Mark Lemon, a wonderful artist in his own right. But today we are cele celebrating moi, Keith Patterson. This is a piece I did a long time ago, a 3D piece. You can see the flower pots, man, are actually real flower pots that I like cut with a towel saw. The rocks are like real rocks from a real river. And I like uh, cut them up, same towel saw. <laughs> Excuse me. The fence. It's a real fence for crying out loud. Made with a real fence by a real fence person. I was like doing fences at the time. I said, man, I'm gonna do some artwork. It's gonna be like art imitating life. All right, so that's like just a thing. That was in a church for like 12 years and then they moved and gave it back to me. So anyway, hey man, we're Coming into the gallery here, I just whirled around. Coming into the Cosmic Harvest Gallery. We'll do sort of a sweeping panorama. You know, sweeping panoramas are a thing with me. You know, turn on some lights. Yeah, you yeah. know. So anyway, man, I'm gonna start, uh, I'm gonna start as we walk in, I'm gonna start with this painting. Right to the left, this is horse and rider. And I could not even tell you how I did this, man. This is a one-off using some splatter technique. And, uh, you know, uh, I went into a trance, man. Went into a trance. And it was like uh, 10 hours later I came out with this. This is mounted, this is canvas, acrylic canvas mounted on uh, masonite over top of a basswood frame with my signature. And this one, man, this has uh, got entirely too much sunlight coming in from the east here, um, so the glare is a little bad. But uh, that is a local mountain range scene. Shadow. I'm gonna take this, pick this up here, man. This is a scene from Paris. This is uh, Saint Germain des Prés, and that means uh, get the flies out of the buttermilk in Catalanese, or so they say. And anyway, man, that's uh, you know that was actually a uh, total uh, abstract in blues and hues of blues and then uh man i i uh just did the the rest of the painting on top of it and left some of the uh left some of the background shining through that's the thing i do ah here we go pastoral scene 48 by 48 Cosmic Harvest Gallery. This is, uh, and I'm Keith Patterson. No, I painted these things. This is a woods scene. This is called a woods scene uh, or something like that, or maybe through the trees. But this one is uh, like uh, 47 tall by 57 wide is a thing I do. That's a size, you know. Uh, it uh, also is uh, uh, canvas. 
uh, stretch, stretched across, across masonite upon a basswood frame. This uh, gallery wraps on the edge. You can see it's painted first. I paint first on raw canvas, wet it down with water, start painting with acrylics, and uh, then I stretch them later over the stretcher bars. And that's why it's painted around the edge. You can see I, that is one of my sort of unique techniques of which I've got a few, you know. I call it working wet. And uh, after I dry off, I'm really in the mood to paint. You know, here's, I'm not really uh, talking about names and sizes of everything. This is one of my favorites, man. This is based on a photo by a local uh, legend named Gomer. Gomer Piles, no kidding. Gomer Piles, just, uh, yeah, man, he was, he was walking across America back before it was a thing, man. You know, in fact, Forrest Gump was like, uh, you know, a little bit, they ripped off Gomer's story. Yeah, man, incredible. Anyway, uh, you know, here's some uh, uh, forest in the fall with the leaves and the grass. You know, here is a uh, intercoastal. This is actually, this could be anywhere East Coast, USA. You know, intercoastal. Fancy sailboats, flock of seagulls being chased by bats. You know, check out that orange right there. That orange I actually made, I crushed the petals of a rhododendron. And actually I was trying to get a nice uh, yellowish hue. It's a yellow rhododendron, no shinola. But it actually ended up uh, being mixed with some bar tweakings and it uh, came out with an orange hue. I, but I, and I kept it, I like it, I like it. And this one, this one is very serene. I call this very serene. No, actually, this may be a woodsy feeling on the water. No, actually, this one might just be on the water. Not really sure. This one up here is like in the woods. This is like the edge of the woods when the greenery is receding into the woods. All these, all of these are available for a price. This one is one of my favorites. Serene, edge of the woods, the woodsy mist. This one may be called woodsy mist. This one is definitely called rhododendrons. No, 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 uh, uh, zinnias. This one is called zinnias. These are all zinnias. I like it. This one, not as much as this one. This one is maybe, I'm, I saved the best for last, man. This is called the Medici Fountain. And that's the Cyclops, Polyphenes, lording over his maiden and her, his maiden's mother, their captives. And there's this squirrely reflection, very artistically rendered. Now this is another of those that started off as an abstract. It was a dark uh, abstract upon black. And I rested, I literally rested with a W, W-R-E-S-T-E-D kind of rested. I rested with my wife um, out of the, a, uh, black background, totally chaotic, uh, abstract. It was a total abstract. I, I, I literally had no idea what I was doing. Because as you, as you know, as soon as you know what you're doing, it's no longer abstract. And then you know what you're doing. And everybody can tell. Every, everybody thinks abstract so easy. Man, abstract's not easy. Abstract is the hardest thing. That's why I wrote this little song. Here it goes, goes like that. Abstract is the hardest thing. 
Yeah, but you see, as soon as you know what's going on, man, you don't know what's going on. See, right there, man. It's like, you know, I can't continue the jazz once I know what I'm doing. That's why I'm an artist. All right, so anyway, that's, you know, once around the studio. Once again, I'm Keith Patterson. This is uh, Home Base Cosmic Harvest Gallery right here at Castle Keep Farm. Let me do a sweeping panorama. This is the driveway area. This is the church pew that came from my parents' house. Because they didn't like to go to church. They just had like their own church pew. And that's, that was where we had time out. Way over there, that's Milo, the wonder dog. He's wondering, what is daddy doing? This is like, this coming down around here, this is the driveway area where I do my painting like 10 months of the year. I mean, it's got to, literally, it's got to be freezing. I, it has to be freezing or snowing for me not to paint out here. So you see, this is a big awning. This is like a 30 feet, I think it's 30 feet. 30 feet coming out here, you know, and then 10 feet wide. And this is where I work, keeps me from being a uh, sunstroke uh, victim. Now this is what I got going on here, man. This is going to be a painting where you're looking up. So this is like, I'm trying to recreate like a panorama of a sky, you know? And uh, so it's like uh, round up there. It's like, man, this is truly, this painting is truly going to be a, a lie exposing a lack of fundamental reason. It's going to be as if you're looking straight up all right, I'm putting this phone in a, there we go. Yeah, this is like you're looking straight up and I'm gonna have trees, you know, coming from all sides, but then there's gonna be a real kicker. Um, man, the, uh, it's just a reflection in the water. So, uh, yeah, man, hold on, let me grab my brush. And I got no brushes. This is actually my favorite brush. This is the only brush I trust for doing splatter, which I'm not doing splatter right now. I'm, I'm gonna drip a little paint.
All right, making some trees. Click my hands up a minute and I'll take you in close on this painting. Uh, I'm gonna wrap up this video here and come back later. Um,
Yeah, I'm Keith Patterson. Uh, this is my Cosmic Harvest studio. And you saw a little bit of the Cosmic Harvest gallery, what we got left hanging up there. Just uh, sold a bunch of paintings uh, from here at home. And, um, and also at Hip and Humble. Hip and Humble, they're in Berryville. They're like an emporium of all sorts of cool stuff. And they sell a whole lot of my artwork. Check them out. Hip and Humble, Berryville, Virginia. I'm Keith Patterson, Cosmic Harvest Studio. And um, uh, you're listening to 90% Half True, which is, uh, uh, you know, all really about now. Right now, we just released my collection of short stories. And uh, we, that was a couple months ago, was the release of the... Uh, paperback, hardback, and ebook available on Amazon. And then just this week, we have introduced uh, the audiobooks, part one of 90% Half True. It's like the first nine stories in the collection, all on an audiobook. It's two hours of mirth and wonderment. You'll love it, you know. Um, Anyway, much love to you all. We'll do some more painting videos, man. This is what I do. I'm a professional artist. Let me show you what I've been working on here, what you've been uh, watching. Uh, you know, this is going to be, you know, like you're looking up and uh, you see, you know, the sky through the trees. Except for I'll make it much cooler. Gonna have more trees, more action, more concentricity. Is this concentric stuff? I'm not sure. It's uh, all very mysterious. I'm not sure it works. I might have to change some trees. All right. All the best to you and yours. Much love.